الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله إمام المتقين ورسول رب العالمين الذي بعث إلى الأحمر والأسود والذي تركنا على المحجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا هالك صلى الله وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن سلك طريقهم وسار على نهجهم ودعا بدعوتهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فاتقوا الله عباد الله واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه إلى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون My beloved brothers and sisters It is important that we remind one another about the consciousness of Allah to develop the correct relationship with your maker, the one whom you are going to return to. Never become oblivious of the fact that you are going to return to the one who made you. Prepare for that day in a beautiful way. On a daily basis, ensure that you have done deeds that will result in you being proud of what you have put forward on the day of judgment. And one of the best things you could do is to seek forgiveness of the Almighty on a regular basis. My brothers and sisters, each one of us has needs. These needs are fulfilled through the mercy of the Almighty. In His divine plan, He has kept it such that we would need to earn in order to survive. Every one of us has a stomach. This stomach needs to be filled. In order to fill it, we would need to purchase things. We would need to trade. We would need to actually consume food. And that food, as you and I know, is not free across the globe. May the Almighty bless every one of us. It is part of the divine plan of the Almighty that He has ensured that every one of us will have to work in one way or another in order to ensure that we survive. He has set aside and He has dictated the way to earn. This earning is taught by Him to be in the most beautiful and acceptable way. He has also made clear that which is unacceptable when it comes to income and earning. All this being part of his divine plan, the Almighty alone decides what is halal and what is haram, what is permissible and what is prohibited. He knows and every time he has prohibited something, it is because of the detriment therein. Every time he has said that something is halal, it is because he knows the purity of it. And this is why the Almighty tells us, Ya be consciousness of the Almighty. Be conscious of the Almighty. Develop the correct relation with the Almighty. The term used is ittaqullah. Be conscious of Allah. And each one of you should look into what you have done in order to prepare for tomorrow. Meaning the day that you are going to meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at what you have prepared for that day. And be conscious of the Almighty, for indeed He is all knowing of what you do, what you have done. May Allah make it easy for us. I mean, my brothers and sisters, remember that if Allah has catered for the ant that is beneath the feet of some, or the ant that is so small and insignificant, if Allah has provided food and sustenance for that ant, then definitely.
definitely Allah will provide for you and I who are far bigger and more sophisticated than any of the ants. In fact, all the creatures of the Almighty, He has ensured that He will provide the basics for all of them. There is nothing that treads this earth except that the Almighty has taken it upon Himself to provide for it. We ask Allah to make us from those who can rely on Allah. Remember my brothers and sisters, Allah has not guaranteed that he will throw something at you when you have not used the capacity that he has provided you in order to try and achieve it. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, Ihris ala ma yanfa'uka wasta'in billahi wa la ta'jaz. Work hard towards achieving that which is beneficial for you and seek the help of Allah and do not be lazy. When you are lazy, automatically you will lose because you are not listening to the instruction of the Almighty. Cut out laziness, work very hard, and Allah will probably give you more than you expected Him to have given you. May Allah provide for all of us. Don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Remember, there is no goodness in trying to achieve through that which is prohibited. There might be a moment of joy when you see a large figure or something that you have in front of you, but if it is earned by haram and prohibited means, that joy is only temporary, it will not last. This is why we always speak out against corruption. This is why we always speak out against consuming that which is prohibited. And we always speak out against earning that which is unlawful. May the Almighty make us more conscious of it. If, for example, a person were to steal to become rich, they may have a moment of joy, temporary and fake, which is actually going to be snatched away, not just in the hereafter, but in this world too. It becomes a dark cloud that is looming over the head. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect every one of us. Remember, Qarun was a man who was very, very wealthy. He earned his wealth, but that wealth came about with a quality that Allah did not like. And this is why once you have earned, even if it is halal earning, remember one thing, let it make you humble. The wealthiest from amongst us should be the most humble. The most powerful from amongst us should be the most humble. The most popular amongst us should be the most humble. Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.